Yo, what's going on guys? It's Anon Mycology. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to introduce FAE, or fresh air exchange, to your colonized tubs. After the 10 days is up, it's time to initiate the fruiting phase. By now most of your tubs should have a lot of primordial growth and should be very white and fuzzy on the top. It doesn't always have to be 10 days. If you notice that your tub is white and fuzzy on top, you can go ahead and initiate fruiting then as well, as long as at least 99% of your tub is white and fuzzy. See here I'm just going back and, as always, sterilizing my area. I'm going to go ahead here and wipe my gloves down here with isopropyl alcohol. Alright, this is all evaporated we're ready to go here. Go ahead and carefully move the tub. And then we're going to start here by, we're going to grab a little bit of paper towels. In this case, I'm going to use toilet paper. Go ahead and add a little bit of alcohol onto this. I'm going to go ahead and sterilize the top of this. Because in order to introduce fresh air exchange, we're going to have to flip the lid. And of course, flipping the lid will require a sterilized environment on not only the bottom, but also the top. Alright, go ahead here and carefully open this tub. There it is. Look at all that rhizomorphic growth. That is beautiful. Alright, I'm going to go ahead here and grab my mister. Now I'm going to start here by um, I'm going to gently mist, you know, three, four, five, maybe six times. You don't want to do a lot, but you just want to make sure that when you look down at the mycelium growing, you can see little tiny water droplets beating up on the surface. This is stimulating your mycelium and telling the primordial growth that it's time to create pins. After this is done, I like to make sure I kind of waft away the lid to kind of make sure there's no excess alcohol on the top here. I'm gonna go ahead and just mist the top of the lid here just a little bit. And there we are. Now we've created the ultimate microclimate for our substrate to go ahead and start producing pins. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe the excess moisture off the top here. Once this is done, this is really all you have to do. You can honestly leave this here until you start seeing fruits, and then when the fruits form, you'll be able to pick them out and then go in for the second flush. And that's it, guys. And there you have it. Alright guys, that's how you introduce fresh air exchange into your tubs and initiate fruiting and pinning. In my next video I'm going to go over how to harvest your mushrooms and how you can initiate the second flush. I'll also go over how you can dehydrate your mushrooms or let them air dry and the pros and cons to each of those. As always guys, this has been Anon Mycology. If you guys like these videos, go ahead and leave a like, subscribe, and give me a kiss on the lips if you will. No, I'm just playing. As always, much love.